Hey everyone! Another year, another Summer Essentials video. This has become kind of a staple on my channel over the years. Every year at the beginning of the summer, I do um, basically my essential like skincare and makeup products for the summertime. Um, this year is basically the same concept, uh, but the products have changed a lot. I don't think any of the products are the same, maybe one. Um, from like last year or even the year before. Um, so yeah, I'm excited and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start off with skincare because that is very important in the summer, especially if you have oily or combination skin like I do. Um, the first thing I would say, this is kind of random, but I do want to include it, bug spray. Um, I don't know about you guys, but mosquitoes love me um i'm like their best friend in the summertime um they like to give me little love bites everywhere um and it sucks so my favorite book spray is the off deep woods insect repellent this is the dry version so this is good for mosquitoes ticks um flies that bite gnats and sugars um this is for like if you're going camping or something but i really love it for every day because it does apply really really great um and when you rub it in it's dry there's no residue so you don't feel extra like wet or oily or anything like that um so it just rubs in really nicely and it stays on for a pretty long time um so yeah i would definitely recommend bug spray for sure um as far as like face stuff goes i highly recommend a good moisturizer um Moisturizers can be tricky in the summertime, but you definitely do need to moisturize to help your skin stay balanced so you don't get even oilier than you already will being out in the heat. Um, but for that, I recommend the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. This is just a travel size. Um, I've got the full size downstairs. I just didn't feel like going to get it. Um, you guys know this is my absolute favorite moisturizer right now. What I really love about this is the fact that this is... Um, the gel moisturizer, first of all, so it's more lightweight than a lotion moisturizer. Um, say, for example, the Cetaphil one, I really love that one. But for one, it's a little bit heavy. And two, it tends to make my skin a little bit more oily um, than it needs to be, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, like basically, I just feel like it's too heavy. Um, but this, it gives you a nice um, layer of moisturization, but it doesn't leave you shiny. It's really lightweight. It's got a nice fresh scent as well. Um, and like I said, this balances out your skin, but it doesn't give it any extra shine or extra oil or more moisture than it needs for the summertime. So, love this stuff. For primer, very, very important. Um, I have really been liking the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is, I think, probably five or six dollars at your drugstore. Really inexpensive. Um, you s it says you can use it alone, under or over makeup. I don't know how it would look over makeup. That would be weird. Uh, but I have worn it alone, just on my no makeup days, just to test it out. And I have worn it under my makeup. I'm wearing it under my makeup today, and. I really like this. I think this is really comparable to my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which I really like. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend this. This definitely helps to keep your face matte um, and has to, to, helps to keep your makeup on longer. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this is good stuff. Um, if you want to use a good setting spray, I would recommend um, one of the Urban Decay ones. This is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This would be really, really nice in the summertime because it's supposed to be cooling and hydrating. It says right on the bottle. Um, it's oil-free, which is great, and paraben-free. Um, so, kind of perfect for the summertime. Um, it's really nice to just kind of spray on to refresh yourself throughout the day, and it helps to set your makeup and, again, help it last longer. So, definitely recommend that. Um, for eye primer, again, I feel like it's one of the most important things in the summertime. Um, especially if you have really eyelids like I do. The NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base is a lifesaver. Honestly, guys, I know you've heard me talk about it ad nauseum at this point, but it's seriously fantastic. Um, I will never ever go back to anything else. Um, as far as, like, drugstore primer goes, all the drugstore primers that I've tried pale in comparison to this one um it's amazing it honestly 
keep your eyeshadow from creasing at all for I would say honestly a good 13 hours um, maybe even a little more it's that's how awesome it is um, so yeah definitely recommend this again this is like really lightweight doesn't um, like feel heavy on your eyelids or anything like that and I even wear this on days where I'm not wearing any makeup just to keep my lids from getting super oily you know out in the heat with the weather and everything and it works amazingly so I love this stuff holy grail product for me for powder you obviously want a shine control powder um like the Neutrogena shine control powder um that's funny but yeah the name is very very appropriate um, I really like the packaging of this first of all, it's like matte black packaging, it's just really simple and sleek, and it's got a really nice mirror on it, which is nice. Um, the powder is just a translucent powder, and it has a rice protein complex in it, and it is supposed to instantly eliminate shine for a fresh look that lasts all day, layers invisibly over makeup, and has a matte finish. I would say all of these things are pretty much true. This does a fairly good job of keeping my face matte for a reasonable amount of time. Um, and yeah, this is definitely an essential for the summer. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is concealer. You, again, you definitely do not want a concealer that's going to slide around and smudge and just make you look disgusting under the eye area. It's, it's just not a good look. Um, however, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer does not do that at all. It is really, really great. Mine is in the shade Caramel right now. Um, what I really love about this is not only does it brighten your under eye area, brighten your whole face, just make everything look more natural. It's not like a shimmer or like a weird sheen or anything like that. It's just a really natural brightening look. It's really beautiful. It blends incredibly well, which I love. Um, I just honestly just take my ring finger most of the time and just pat it in with my ring finger under my eyes, even bring it down onto like the tops of my cheekbones and it just looks really, really nice. Um, but again, this does not move at all. It stays in place all day and does it keeps your under eye area matte and dry, which is really, really great. Um, cause you don't want to be sweating in that area. It's just, it's not fun at all. Um, but see, so yeah, those are all of my summer essentials. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments what your summer essentials are and I will see you soon. Bye.